Hello, and welcome to Just in Mind. In this video, we'll show the basics of designing and sharing interactive prototypes. Let's get started. When you launch Just in Mind, you can choose from different types of devices and different options to start your prototype. Let's select Web as the default device for this example. The interface is divided into different sections that surround the canvas. Let's look at the most important ones real quick. The toolbar provides the basic tools to draw on the canvas, from basic shapes like rectangles or text boxes, all the way to vector design and interactive components. A prototype in Just in Mind is organized in different screens that are all listed in the Screens panel. Screens are a similar concept to artboards in other design tools or pages in a real website. The Layers panel displays the elements in the canvas and gives you ways to reorganize them and select them easily. On top of using the basic tools in the toolbar to build your designs, you have access to an extensive library of pre-built components in the Libraries panel. You can get more libraries on our website, create your own, or use libraries created by other users. The Events panel displays all the interactions of the elements selected in the canvas. You can make anything from basic navigation to complex math calculations and animations using this panel. The Properties panel holds all the design options for elements on the canvas, like colors, typefaces, etc. We will briefly go over how to use all these panels right now. Let's start by drawing some content on the current screen. Just click on one of the tools from the toolbar and then in the canvas, and that's it. We can start designing our screen by using some rectangles, texts, and images. Once you place some content in the canvas, you can change any design property, such as font family or color, using the Properties panel. Adding images is also really easy. Click on the Image tool in the toolbar and select an image file. That will place the image in the canvas. You can resize, crop, or even mask it however you want. As we mentioned before, you're not only restricted to the tools in the toolbar, but you can also use any of the widgets in the Libraries panel. To do so, just drag the widget into the canvas. If the element has different sub-elements, you can either double-click on them to select them individually, or you can use the Direct Selection tool. Some elements in the toolbar are already interactive. If you click on the plus sign, you'll find a whole collection of input form fields to add to your designs. Add them the same way as you would do with the rest of the tools. These input forms can be customized using the Properties panel. If you have more than one screen, you can simulate navigation very easily. Just drag the element you want onto the screen in the Screens panel, and that will automatically create a navigation event. You can see that event in the Events panel. You can test the interactions in your design at any moment by clicking on the Play button on the toolbar. That will launch your designs in a web browser, and all your events and input fields will be interactive. Once you finish your prototype, you have several ways to share it with other users to get feedback. One option is to export the prototype to HTML files and send them to whoever you want. A better way is to use the Share button next to the Play button in the toolbar. That will upload your prototype to your online account, and then you can invite anyone to test it out. The other users can then access that simulation from their own browsers, add comments, and, if they're developers, they can even get all the assets, CSS code, and redlining from your design. Finally, you can get all that feedback back into your prototype and keep iterating until you get it right. Feel free to check our learning section to see all the options Just in Mind gives you to design and prototype without limits.